Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven with another video for you. In this video, we're going to talk about how to turn this tablet into a controlling device and a monitoring device for a Canon DSLR. This whole thing is going to cost you less than $20, assuming you have the tablet and you have the camera and everything set up. So let's get started. Okay, to get started, what you're going to need is a Canon DSLR camera. This is the Canon model T3i, as you can see right there. You're going to need a USB cable that came with the camera so you can plug it into the computer. Over here, you're going to need a tablet. Now on this tablet, I'm showing the different apps that you need. The app that we're going to use costs around $8 and it's worth it to make this work. And then the last piece we're going to use here is a OTG adapter. These adapters are about $3 on eBay and I will leave a description in the link below. The first thing you want to do is actually go to the Google's Play Store and look for an app called DSL Controller. As you can see up here, just type that in and you're going to find a company named Chainfire and then you want to actually get the beta version right here. Now it will just at least show you that it's compatible with your device, but be prepared to spend $8 for the full version because the beta version is really, really limited. They also make apps for uh, different types of controllers like Wi-Fi sticks. Um, you can look through there at the different options, but that's the one we want to focus on today. So once you pay for the app, you just want to launch it just to make sure it still loads up good. And if you can see here, it's looking for the camera, but there's no camera control. So let me show you the next part. So here's the OTG adapter and the USB cable that came with the camera, or this is another one, but uh, just use the one that came with the camera. You're going to plug this in like that. And what that's going to do is give you a micro on one end and then a regular USB on the other end. Okay, on this Canon camera, you have outputs on the side. So there's on the top, there's a USB output, and then on the bottom, there's an HDMI. So just look for the USB version. Now, most Canon cameras come with this uh, USB to plug it into the computer. So we're going to just plug that in, in into there. Now normally, this other end is the full USB. With the, US, with the OTG adapter, you plug that in, and now you have the micro USB. Now you go to the tablet, and you're going to plug that in like you would normally plug in your charger, and see what happens on the tablet. All right, there we go. So now it's connecting. Sometimes you get this error, but it's just a configuration of the camera. So let me go and take off the lens of the camera, and I'm going to show you how you can control it. Now you see the camera picture there. Hit OK here. And see, now the camera pops up on the tablet. Now, let's say if you want to record something, you have your record button there. Stops it. And then if you want to control like the exposure, your F stops, you just hit all the buttons on the control here. So there's your ISOs. And this is a way you can remote into your camera while you're doing video recordings. Very easy. You have live view. And whatever you put in here, whenever you go back to your camera, those settings actually stay, which is pretty nice. Now this software, again, you can play around with it. There's another feature, if you install it like on a smartphone, like an Android device, you can then install this app on that, and then you can actually control the tablet from your smartphone. I did try it before, it was a little laggy, so I stopped using it, but uh, it's pretty easy there. So as you can see there. One cool thing here too, if you have autofocus turned on, Let's see if you can get that here. You just tap on the item you want to focus. So you're going to focus up here. As you can see, this is pretty easy to connect your Canon camera to your tablet. Now, it works with Android at this point, but if you want to look up the manufacturer's website for the application in the link below, then you can see if it's compatible with your iPad or any kind of Apple products that you have. Like all my videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, 
and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.